Welcome back to the School of Calisthenics. My name is Michelle and I'm the newest member of the team here at the School of Calisthenics. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist and today I'm going to be going over a really fun recipe called Overnight Oats. It's super easy, very simple, packed full of nutrients and it's great for on the go. So if you enjoy this recipe and you want some more content, both educational materials and more recipes, please check out the new nutrition and health course. It's in the virtual classroom of the School of Calisthenics. You can also find a link to it in the description below. So please feel free to check it out and I hope to see you in the classroom. Okay, so this is one of my favorite go-to recipes and that is overnight oats. I like it for a bunch of reasons. Um, one, it's super easy to make. Two, it's convenient for if you're on the go. Three, there's a bunch of different nutrients packed into it. And four, it tastes really good. So today I'm going to make the most kind of basic form of it, but there are a ton of different variations, a ton of different ingredients you can use. Um, there's an infographic you can check out. Um, it's Overnight Oats Builder, showing all these different types of ingredients you can add in. It's kind of a flavor taste preference, but that's what makes it fun. You can kind of mix it up, try some new stuff. Again, this will just kind of be a fairly basic recipe. So we start out with our oats, which we've talked about, our whole grain, good source of fiber, really those good carbs we're looking for. Next, you're going to add your protein of choice. So I am using Greek yogurt, but again, check out the infographic. There's different things you can use. Um, if you like putting protein powder in things, that's always a good option. Cottage cheese is something a little different, but always really good. Um, after that, you're gonna look at your healthy fat options. So I'm gonna use some chia. I like to put chia in this because Chia actually absorbs a lot of liquid, so it kind of gives it that gummy taste and gives a little more consistency and bulk. Then also with the healthy fats, it's always good to have some type of like nut butter, nuts, seeds, whatever type of healthy fats you enjoy. So I'm using peanut butter today, just cause it's kind of my favorite. Um, helps keep us full, all those good fats we talked about. So I'm gonna add that in. I also have a little bit of honey just mixed in with this as well. And then next up, you're going to kind of choose your add-ins. So that's where it gets fun. Different types of fruits and vegetables kind of gives it lots of flavor. I'm doing blueberries because I love blueberries. Um, I also have on the infographic, you'll see, you can add vegetables, which I know sounds kind of crazy, but it's actually really good. It has a really tasty carrot cake overnight oats recipe. I also like to use rice cauliflower and I actually put that in there. It tastes and looks similar to the oats, so I honestly don't even notice it. And it's a really nice way to add some vegetables to either a snack or breakfast whenever you're having it. And then we kind of boost it up with some little flavorings. So this is vanilla, just to give it a little extra something. Also cinnamon, because I love cinnamon. And we talked about with all of these spices, how it can be great for health. So not only does it add flavor, but it adds a little bit for your health as well. And then lastly, you're gonna add your liquid of choice. So different types of milk you can use. You have almond milk, cashew milk, typical dairy milk, coconut milk, if you're doing maybe a Hawaiian theme one, lots of fun options there. So as you can see, that was super easy. Put it all just in a jar. What you're gonna do is just mix it up real good. You wanna make sure the oats get completely covered. Same with the chia, because again, those are gonna absorb a lot of liquid. And then after that, all you do, put the lid on. If you wanna have a little fun with it, shake it up a bit. And that's it. You put it in the fridge. It has to set for about three to four hours to make sure it absorbs everything up. Um, but then after that, it's all ready for you to eat. And the great part about that is, so you can see I have one kind of made up here. It thickens up quite a bit. But these are good for about three to five days in the fridge. So if you wanted to make some for the entire week, it makes it a really easy grab and go breakfast, or like I said, a snack. So overnight oats, I highly recommend them. Check out the infographic, like I said, tons of different variations of flavors and just really fun, easy, easy recipe.